Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this episode, we're going to be addressing an issue um, from the, uh, the the fender well intake install. So if you remember, we installed the, the intake, went through the, the wheel well, and now we have our, the filter kind of exposed down here. So problem with this setup is if you're driving through puddles or near a lot of water, um, you could potentially um, get a bunch of water to come up into the intake and go up through into the engine and hydrolock it. So obviously we don't want that. So to address that, I picked up this shield um, to, you know, block off part of the fender well and underneath the bumper area. So it's actually from, it's from a company called boltonspeed.com. Um, this thing is actually made out of aluminum. See, so it's got ver really nice quality. And if water does get up around in there, you know, we got drain holes. So the only way for air to get to the intake is through the brake duct there. So, um, they also make another one of these that's a mirror image. So say if you did your setup where you're going down to the driver's side, they make one that's just the exact opposite. I don't know how many people would do it, but it's always an option for those people like maybe they relocate the battery back to the back. They're running a turbo on this side and they have some of the intake set up over here, you know. I mean, there's so many different ways you could build a vehicle. So, all right. So I, I went ahead and jacked the truck up and pulled the wheel off. So we can just go ahead and get started on this. All right, so let's go. All right, so first thing on the list is to undo um, this clip here. Uh, next we get a seven millimeter. And undo small bolt holding the bumper brace back to the bottom. The bumper located at the bottom of the bumper between the fog lights and the chrome scoop. Okay. I don't even know what that bolt's supposed to be. Actually, it's supposed to be for the bumper here. I guess they got torn and bent. So I'm going to probably bend that back.
instructions say, and I will mark the wheel well, the wheel well liner for some holes required to install the supplied U nuts. You'll want to hold the inside up so the airbox edge is basically parallel to the frame at the top. Reference picture book. Blah, 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 blah. Like this, take a marker and trace only the very top hole and the two oval holes. Look, we will do the outside hole later. Fortunately, I don't have a silver sharpie, so just have to make do. Okay. Now green sharpie will work, apparently. And that's one of my fears. Top hole is not a problem. Middle hole is going to be a bit of an issue because of the air filter. Bottom hole won't be a problem. So the instructions call for a 3 8 um, Call for a 3 8 hole. Unfortunately, I don't have a. Well, I do have a 3 8 bit, but it's not. It's more for wood. Box on in place, you can now take a 1 8 drill bit and drill only the whole farthest back, shown the left folder. So the one, let's back here. Alright, so now we're going to install the rivets for the washer. Okay, so I, I just had to do a quick look up since I've never used rivet washers before, just the rivets I've gotten with kits and stuff. So, this comes with a wa uh, rivet washer. Stick it on. And we're going to put it in there. Rivet's in. Just like that. Now drill the other two holes and rivet those. There we go. Rivets are 
we're on. Okay. Oh! The thing I did forget to do was mark that last hole. That's okay. Back in. Yeah, so that was my mistake. I forgot to mark up this last hole. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna leave this one out for now. Um, just because I actually kind of want to trim it off because it does hit the filter element and I'm just ready to it going through at some point. Now we can install this for the last time except for that one bolt which I said I'm going to leave out for now. All right, so let's recap. So we have this installed. I'm not sure what that hole was for, but it wasn't said in the instructions. This one, I left the bolt out for now because the bolt's actually going into the air filter. So I'm actually gonna try maybe uh, shortening that bolt up a bit. And see if that makes things a little better. Um, overall, it's pretty good. Um, this bottom clip here, might be an issue because it's been kind of falling in and out so I'm not sure if, the, if there's an issue with that brace piece or what the truck has had some damage so I mean the, the bracket here we're supposed to be holding this up it's actually pretty bent up on that side 
I'm actually wondering if I had the right brackets or not. It's kind of weird. So this piece isn't exactly lining up. So I do have a gap here. I'm not too worried about that gap. Um, it should be fine. So at least, you know, my, ma my main issue was water splashing up from the wheel well onto the filter. So now the filter's all encompassed in here. I, I don't know, I probably can't even really see it. Um, with the GoPro. Might be able to see it right there. But, so, there we go. It's in. I'm a bit more confident now when driving this thing in the rain. I mean, I, I don't live in a, in a flood prone area. So, not really too worried about that. But, I was more worried about, you know, large puddles and then, like I said, you know, all the, the rain water on my wheels, you know, splashing up onto the filter. So, this should alleviate most of that. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, oh, um, so I'll throw up a link to the Fenderwell, uh, sorry, the, the Fenderwell intake install up in the, in the description and in the video towards the beginning of the video. Um, I'll throw the contact information for bolt on speed in the video and in the description. So, if you guys want to buy one, go right for it. This, um, that was about a hundred bucks. It really wasn't that bad. Um, as long as you have all your tools out and so forth, you can do this in about half an hour to an hour. So it's really not that bad at all to install. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, um, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.